Click the link below for a 30 day free trial of Audible. Yo, YouTube, what's good? It's your boy Daffy, aka the, the, the JJK scholar, the Sakuna Glazer himself. Now, 2024 has actually been so far a pretty banger year for anime so far. We've had some pretty good adaptations. We have some more stuff in the works currently. We've got some more heat on the way. Uh, but coming at the tail end of 2023 and, and, and actually ended uh, in 2024 was actually a uh, free run, uh, Journey's End. Now, this anime had so much much hype surrounding it and people all across the different anime and manga spheres were talking up this anime. Now for a person like myself, I took a look at it and I just thought that it was a, an isekai just because that's the, the the isekai genre has kind of just plagued the fantasy uh, landscape of anime at this point. So it, it just at a, at a glance, I was like, oh, okay, this is an isekai. It's not really for me. Uh, and I actually did end up giving free rent a try i got about two to three episodes in and i decided that it was not for me but before we start today's video guys please make sure you use code daffy10 at your next purchase at animeexpress.com please make sure that you get yourself something nice like a hoodie a t-shirt a pokeball or even like some anime inspired lights anything anime related that you need please make sure you head on over there uh link will be in the description below please make sure you use my code that is daffy10 and yeah let's get on to it here's the thing I'm not saying that the show is bad by any means. I'm not saying that the show sucks or, or anything else, but there is a problem that I definitely wanted to address here. The problem is that this fan base, uh, my watch went off, hello? This fan base has to have one of the most rabid cases of uh, uh, superiority complexes I've ever seen in a community. Now granted, this is more so towards the CNN side of the anime and manga community, but Freeran fans, it's something it's sub in the water, man. I don't, know real, I, I don't know what's going on. Dude, I've seen so many like 100K like bombs on people that say one negative thing about Freeran and people just will just get on top of them and be like, oh, it's that Shonen Braid ride. You, you, you watch too much Shonen. You gotta understand also, you're watching the same uh, animated cartoons that I am. And the thing is, is that there's good and bad things to both sides of the genre. There's different things that people look for in these shows and in, in these adaptations. Not everything has to be peak fiction and not everything has to be turn your brain off and watch something. Am I going to Dragon Ball for a masterful storytelling and uh, 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 wonderful plot lines that'll make you just sit and think about it the next day? Probably not, pro pro probably not, but there's still very good things about it, right? For example, Pluto. I actually really enjoy Pluto for the most part. Obviously, I did have my issues later on. Go watch my video on that if you if you haven't seen it yet. But that's not necessarily an action show or anything like that. The action actually takes a seat on the back end, but Free One was just not for me, man. Man, it was just it was a little too slow i understand that it was a character driven show there was some uh, hints of romance in there as well i know the, an the the animation turns up especially later on i i get that i understand that there's like the nice little film grain uh it's almost very nostalgic in like a 90s kind of way all throughout the show but it's just it, it, it to me it felt kind of aimless but that's the point but for me as an individual i don't necessarily love things that like that it felt episodic but not and it just it it i don't want to say it bored me entirely but it just i didn't i didn't like where it was going but then you have so many people going to bat for this franchise and and and, and trying to just think that they're inherently better than other people it's like the inverse of vinland saga fans like whenever you see vinland saga fans talking about their series and they're looking at other people and people are like oh Vinland Saga sucks and Vinland Saga is boring oh my god a lot of times you'll see Vinland Saga fans be like hey man listen it's all good brother hey listen we have no enemies over here in Vinland Saga land. It's all good, brother. And we can coexist. They act like two legends cannot, cannot exist. You know what I'm saying? Brother Cole said that. You know what I mean? And then when I look at these free run kids, I'm just, I look at them. I'm like, dude, what is, what is happening? Maybe it's because of the whole agenda deal that's going on. I'll, I'll make a separate video on that as well. But it, like, this has been going on for years at this point. Consume your anime how you want to consume your anime. It does not really, it, it's not that big a deal at the end of the day, man. Like, here's the thing. I know I sit here and I meme on One Piece a lot and I try to slander One Piece as much as possible on my channel, much to, you know, my editor's chagrin. Uh, but, like, I don't actually hate the series or anything like that. And as a matter of fact, actually, I gave it a try a couple years ago, but I decided it wasn't for me, right? Number one, the length, the art style. It just, I, I didn't, I didn't, 
I wasn't loving the formula from what I saw. But it, it, I, I, I still I don't hold any like hatred towards One Piece or anything like that. It's more of a meme at this point. Or even something like Boruto, where Boruto again I don't outwardly hate it. I actually. Uh, mm, <laughs> I might uh, I might eat my words on that one. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and leave that alone. Yo, this person dropped a 59,000 ratio nuke on this person, and they actually deleted their tweet. They said, "Wish more anime was like Freerun because it would absolutely filter people who can't concentrate on a show unless there's something going on every five seconds, or the show is filled with characters who yell all the time." There's a lack of modern anime that feels they treat the viewer like a proper adult who can concentrate and engage with the world without fearing they'll, they'll get bored if they don't pull a sock and go 24-7 like your standard shonen anime. Freerun is a modern gem. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so you're like you're, you're going to sit here and you're going to tell me that any criticism that's going to be levied towards your show, you, you immediately think, oh, you're, you're a shonen fan. You don't count. You can't talk about anything. What a absolutely pompous way of thinking. What the, what a, this is such like a, this is a frustrating way to dis discredit anyone that does not like your show. If here's the thing, if you don't like the show and you draw some reasons for it, that does not automatically mean that you're intellectually inferior or anything like that. Bro, again, I gave my reasons earlier, but this person, I can't even see their tweet anymore, but they're talking about how they didn't like it. They thought it was over, totally overrated. I think, I don't, I don't remember entirely. And uh, I, <laughs> I don't know, man, this is just, corny work absolutely corny work i don't know man it's just uh, the, the freer and frandom totally turned me off to watching that anime even more and honestly speaking of isekais i would be curious what are some isekais that you guys think that i would enjoy um because I, i'll be honest with you the genre as a whole to me just seems super unappealing like they all just seem like the same the same genre of shite to me it just seems like oh someone gets hit by a car someone gets dropped into another world and then they start at level zero then they got to work their way up to whatever and they're surrounded by a harem of women it's just like it's just uh, you know I, I don't know man like i watched sword Art online back in the day up until the end of season two i tried watching it again and i felt like i was about to catch a case like the, the fbi were about to come down my stairs and snatch me short rant here but just at the end of the day man listen like especially fear and france chill out and to anyone that enjoys anime is a part of a fandom you you don't need to act like you're above somebody or anything like that listen if you want to meme if you want to slander whatever like that and it's not that serious go ahead fine i don't care i i do it all the time but at the end of the day this is still an art form there's still different things to appreciate there's still different things that people have different tastes and there's things that I can enjoy and there's things that you can enjoy that I'm just not seeing and that's perfectly fine we are human beings that's inherently how we work we are made to disagree right and opinions are like assholes everybody has some and some some are prettier than others I, I, I will admit but I'll tell you what though I'd rather watch 10 episodes of free and over over one one piece arc I'll tell you that <laughs> Anyway, guys, it's me, your boy, Daffy. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Let me know. Do you guys want me to do more, like, short rants like this? I'm curious, man, because I, I don't know. I just, I, I want to get, express my thoughts and air out my grievances that I had uh, with the Freer and fan base. So, uh, yeah, it's me, your boy, Daffy, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Y'all make sure you take care of yourselves, guys. Have a good one. Peace.